The 777 airplane flight crew and passenger oxygen systems are similar to those of other Boeing airplanes. The flight deck oxygen system is serviced by a single oxygen cylinder located in the lower equipment bay. A quick donning oxygen mask and regulator is provided for each pilot and each observer. The oxygen mask can be put on very quickly with one hand. Each oxygen mask on the flight deck has its own stowage box. Controls to operate and test the oxygen mask are located on the face of the box. Squeezing together the two red release levers frees the oxygen mask. The mask can then be pulled from its stowage box. The oxygen mask includes an inflatable harness, a face piece, a microphone that is enabled automatically as the stowage box left door opens, and a regulator. Oxygen is automatically available at the regulator when the left door of the stowage box opens. Now let's look at the regulator in more detail. When the red release levers are squeezed together, the oxygen mask harness inflates for quick and easy donning. With the oxygen mask and harness in place on your head, release the levers. When the red levers are released, the oxygen mask harness deflates and holds the oxygen mask securely in place. In this position, the normal 100% switch provides an air-oxygen mixture on demand. The ratio is dependent upon cabin altitude. Now push the normal 100% switch to supply 100% oxygen to the oxygen mask. In this position, pure oxygen is supplied on demand at all cabin altitudes. During pre-flight checks, select the 100% position. Pressurized 100% oxygen is selected by rotating the emergency oxygen selector in the direction of the arrow. This feature supplies 100% oxygen under positive pressure to the oxygen mask at all cabin altitudes. The stowage box doors can be closed during oxygen use. An oxygen on flag indicates that oxygen is still on. If the oxygen mask is removed and set aside, a quick donning capability still exists if the oxygen mask is needed again. When the stowage box doors are closed, oxygen can be turned off by pressing the reset test switch. Turn off the oxygen. Notice that the oxygen on flag is removed from view. The oxygen mask microphone is also disabled. And your boom microphone and handheld microphone are again operational. Oxygen can be turned back on by opening the left door. When the door opens, notice that a yellow cross appears momentarily and the flow of oxygen is audible. These indications confirm that oxygen is again flowing to the oxygen mask regulator. Again, the oxygen mask microphone is operational and the boom and handheld microphones are disabled. To check the oxygen system while the oxygen mask is stowed, press the reset test switch. When the switch is pressed, Notice again the audible burst of oxygen and the yellow cross that appears momentarily in the indicator window. Now check the oxygen system. The sound of oxygen flowing and the yellow indicating cross verify that the system is operating properly. You can also test the emergency oxygen selector in a similar manner. Press and hold the emergency oxygen selector. Check emergency oxygen flow. The sound of oxygen flowing and the yellow indicating cross confirm that pure oxygen is available under positive pressure. Testing of the oxygen mask microphone is not normally performed by the flight crew. 
Should you desire to perform the test, use the oxygen mask controls and the audio control panel. First select the flight interphone transmitter and then select the flight deck loudspeaker and set the volume as desired. Next, place and hold the microphone interphone switch in the interphone position while simultaneously pressing and holding the emergency oxygen selector and reset test switch. In addition to the yellow indicating cross appearing, the sound of flowing oxygen should be audible over the flight deck loudspeaker. Now let's look at how to check the status of the flight crew oxygen system. Display the status display. Flight crew oxygen pressure displays here. A blank oxygen pressure display indicates that a pressure signal is not present or the signal is invalid. If pressure in the crew oxygen system drops below a predetermined level, the crew oxygen low advisory message displays on the ICAS. This advisory message is for crew awareness. Passenger oxygen is provided by individual chemical oxygen generators located in the passenger service unit above each seat group. Passenger oxygen is also available at each flight attendant seat location and in each lavatory throughout the cabin. Passenger oxygen masks deploy automatically if cabin altitude reaches approximately 13,500 feet. The passenger oxygen masks can also be deployed manually from the flight deck. Pushing the passenger oxygen switch causes passenger oxygen masks throughout the cabin to drop. To intentionally activate the system, raise the switch guard and push the passenger oxygen switch. Activate the passenger oxygen system. Pulling on one mask activates all masks in the unit. An inline green flow indicator confirms that oxygen is flowing to each oxygen mask. If a passenger oxygen mask compartment fails to open as commanded, inserting a small object such as a pen or a hairpin into this hole releases the door. The door opens and all oxygen masks drop. The passenger oxygen on advisory message appears when the passenger oxygen masks automatically deploy or if activated by the passenger oxygen switch on the flight deck. The passenger oxygen on advisory message is for crew awareness. The 777 airplane emergency lighting system is powered by various remote battery power supplies. Battery charge is maintained by the airplane electrical system. Interior emergency lights include aisle area lights, cross aisle area lights, passenger seat mounted floor proximity lights, and exit signs on the ceiling and sidewall panels at all exit doors. Exterior emergency lighting consists of escape slide lights. The emergency lights can be controlled from a flight attendant switch panel or by a guarded three position switch on the overhead panel. Raise the emergency lights switch guard. Turn off the emergency lights system. In the off position, the emergency lights system is deactivated. This prevents the emergency lights from coming on when airplane electrical power is intentionally removed. The airplane is normally operated with the switch guard closed. Closing the guard places the switch in the armed position. In the armed position, all emergency lights automatically illuminate if main DC electrical power is lost. Remote battery power supplies power the lights for approximately 15 minutes.
Raising the switch guard and selecting the switch to on manually activates all interior and exterior emergency lights. The emergency lights advisory message will appear for any one of the following situations. Left and right main DC electrical power is available and the emergency lights switch is selected to the off position or the emergency lights have been selected on by the pilot or the emergency lights switch is selected to the armed position and the emergency lights have been turned on at a flight attendant switch panel. The captain's and first officer's side windows may be opened on the ground or in flight. The windows are similar, so let's only look at operation of the first officer's side window. This placard illustrates window operation. This lever locks and unlocks the window. Unlock the first officer's side window. When the lever is unlocked, an orange indicating band is visible. The hand crank is rotated to open the window. Open the first officer's side window. You may operate the side windows in flight only if the airplane is unpressurized and if speed is below VREF plus 80. If the windows are opened above this speed, force required to close the windows increases greatly. A placard is fully visible when the window is open. Partially visible if the window is not completely closed and completely hidden from view when the window is fully closed. Lock the first officer's side window. Once locked, make sure that the orange indicating band is hidden from view. If the captain's side window is not closed and latched, the window flight deck left advisory message displays on ICAS. The window flight deck right advisory message displays if the first officer's side window is not closed and latched. If both of the side windows are open or unlatched, the window's advisory message displays on ICAS. A halon fire extinguisher is available on the flight deck for flammable liquid or electrical fires. Use the extinguisher with extreme caution since discharged halon depletes oxygen. Always put on protective breathing equipment before using the halon fire extinguisher. Other emergency equipment includes a crash axe, heat resistant gloves, four life jackets, two stowed on the back of each pilot seat, and two escape ropes that are stowed in compartments above the side windows. The exact type and location of the emergency equipment may vary, depending on the operator. During pre-flight checks, make sure that all equipment is available in good condition and properly stowed. 
Emergency equipment is also available and stowed throughout the cabin. A flashlight and a crew life jacket are stowed inside each flight attendant seat compartment. Passenger life jackets are stowed at each of these locations. Child life jackets are stowed at this location. Portable oxygen bottles with an attached mask are stowed throughout the cabin. First aid kits are stowed at these locations. A megaphone is in each of these stowage compartments. A Halon fire extinguisher is stowed at each of these locations. Water fire extinguishers are located in these stowage compartments. Self-contained protective breathing equipment is stowed at locations along the left and right sides of the passenger cabin. An automatically deployed evacuation slide raft with illumination is packed inside each passenger entry door. An emergency locator transmitter is located at each of these locations. The exact type and location of emergency equipment may vary, depending on the operator, but all required equipment should be available in good condition and properly stowed for each flight. In an emergency, you can escape from the flight deck through the flight deck door or through the captain's and first officer's side windows. Escape ropes stowed overhead are provided for evacuation of the flight deck. The evacuation signal system may be operated from a flight attendant switch panel at these locations. or by the evacuation panel on the aft aisle stand. The command switch is a guarded two-position switch that activates the evacuation signal at all locations. Raise the command switch guard. Activate the evacuation signal. In addition to the oral evacuation signal, the evacuation light flashes at all locations. Pull the horn shutoff switch to turn off the oral evacuation signal. The horn shutoff switch only silences the oral signal at that panel. The evacuation light continues to flash. Close the command switch guard. Closing the switch guard extinguishes the evacuation light and silences the audio evacuation signal at all locations throughout the airplane. During pre-flight checks, confirm that the command switch guard is closed the evacuation light is off and the audio signal is silent.